Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine, uh, internet wine program, I should say. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been a big, big, big weekend. Um, kind of in the wine industry, there's a real kind of the sad loss of life um, at Greenhof Vineyard um, at Harvest on Saturday, um, plus all the kind of Anzac stuff that went on over the weekend as well. Um, with the helicopter that went down in Pukakura Bay and also in the Australian Anzac thing. So, um, kind of like commiserations and, and just kind of like all the thoughts of the people here are kind of with those guys. Um, and especially kind of like the, uh, I guess kind of it's difficult not to single it out, but really, but the kind of the vineyard worker because it's the industry that we work in. So, uh, yeah, big shout out to all his family and to kind of hope all things are kind of. Um, I guess getting a bit better. Um, we're just gonna, I guess, crack straight on with it. Um, with a brand that a lot of people know. Astrolab. Um, really, they've got their kind of, they've got also de Valia wines in their kind of portfolio as well. They're um, Voyage and Discovery wines under the Astrolab kind of label. And uh, the experienced wines are the kind of more single vineyard kind of thing. Then you've got the other two, which are kind of all mix, mix and match, really. Um, Simon Waghorn, who is familiar to a lot of people, um, who makes a lot of wine for a lot of people down there. Um, and this wine is the 08 Pinot Noir from Marlborough. Four stars, Wine State magazine. Uh, Vida Brevis Vineyard Reckon and also Comedy Bank Vineyard as well. And, um, yep. Um, and bottled on the 5th of March 2009. So, kind of a little under a year um, before it was bottled. So, what you can see is it's a very plummy, deep, dark, kind of extracted kind of colour. You can see your fingers through it. It's almost got a kind of caramel, caramelized, sweet fruited nose. Now this is all about the fruit. There's nothing else really. It's um, it's not displaying any other character. It's a bit like uh, some blondes I know. Dryish. I've got to say, it's, it's fairly one dimensional. Now, you, you're really probably not going to like this wine if you really like those big fruity Central Otago wines. Like, even though the nose displayed kind of all that kind of opulent, ripe, sweet fruit, the palate doesn't show kind of any of that. It's fairly linear. You just tend to get that kind of one red fruit character come straight away through. They get a bit of dryness at the end. Pretty unremarkable, I've got to say. Um, usually these guys make really decent wine as well. Um, and you're not going to like it if you like Marlborough because it doesn't display any of the, the kind of forest floor, kind of funky, kind of mouldy mushroom kind of characters either. So you're really not going to be Please, you really have to seek out kind of this very linear style of wine. I've got to say that I couldn't really match that. I think that a lot of food will kind of dominate that, unless it's some kind of lamb. So it's um, it's a pass from me, unfortunately, um, given the other wines that they make. Um, so it's on the shelf, I think, about 30, 34 bucks or something like that. Um, slightly overpriced for what it is, I'd, I'd expect that to kind of come in about, if I was paying 20, 20 to 22 bucks for that, then I'd be quite happy. But anything over that, then I don't, just don't think it delivers um, 
and there are a lot more kind of better other wines out there right now that kind of deliver a lot more for that 24 25 bracket so uh, yeah pass from me 85 points now that is only my palate and not anybody else's so kind of if you picked it up and you say oh geez i love that that's your palate it's not mine so um and four stars wine state yeah there or there about three and a half four stars um 85 points i think it's on the money anyway until next time i'll catch you later on wine vault tv